All right, this is going to be a very quick and basic tutorial here um, using the Smart Duino and the RGB LED module um, that was sent to the Kickstarter backers as a little reward for being patient, although most of us weren't patient. But um, here we're going to use the Smart Core U, the RGB LED module, which is just a basic, simple. Um, RGB LED mounted in the smart bus system there and we're also going to use a smart bus basic double extension here to hook these together so I'm going to take the smart core U snap it into one side of the basic extension here there we go still worried that I'm going to break the smart core U taking it in and out of extensions there's so many tiny resistors here that my fingernails will catch on while I'm pulling this in and out I don't know um, all right we're gonna put the LED module on the other side again these buses are, are kind of hard they click in you can actually hear it click you almost feel like you're going to break it so far though um, they seem to hold up I've had them in and out of the bus extensions quite a few times and not had any issues yet with any bent pins inside of the connectors or anything like that. All right, we're going to head over to the computer and do a basic code. <clears throat> Basically, we're going to enable serial communications on the Smart Core U. And actually, you know what? I'm going to flip these around because I like my USB connector to be on the outside over here. There we go. All right. So we're going to make a loop uh, on the code side. I'm not going to show you how to set it up. Um, you can look at my previous videos on how to get the Smart Core U recognized in the Arduino IDE and all that jazz. Um, so we'll, we'll start serial communications and we're going to listen on the serial communication value that you can bring up in the IDE and the serial communication window to send values to the microcontroller and then over to control the RGB LED. We're actually gonna read three integers, so three numbers between zero and 255. First one will be red, second one will be blue, and the third one will be green, and then the light will respond to those values. All right, let's head over to the computer and check out the code. All right, here we are on the computer with our example sketch for the RGB LED module. If you look, we first set up our pinouts. We got red, green, and blue, which is 9, 10, and 11. We start our serial communications. We declare the pins as outputs. And then initially, I would go ahead and make the red pin 255, which would mean the module would have a red color to it as we did not set the, the green and the blue. Um, where you can set your own colors here just to see how it works is in the loop. We read for serial data here. We grab the first integer. We set it to what's going to be our red value. We do the same for the green and the blue. We're using the parse int function in the serial library. This will allow us to send um, three digits with a comma separating them. The first digit will be our red, the second will be our green, and finally our blue. So if you open up the serial communications window here and you send 255, 0, 0, you're actually sending red 255, green 0, blue 0, which would turn the module a red color. Um, you can also mix color. So if you do 50, 210, you would get whatever color that would be. Um, and white would be zero, or I'm sorry, 255, 255, 255, and that would change it to white as all colors are on full blast. There's also some code down here at the bottom that constrains the color values to make sure they're between zero and 255 and will automatically clip them. If an integer is sent higher, if you send a thousand, it will be clipped down to 255. And then we finally write the values to the LED module and you'll see what that looks like. All right, as you can see, um, we've loaded the code onto the unit here. And I don't know if you can tell because of the color here and the bright lights at my shop. But um, the code starts up with the LED in the red position. And I'm going to go over to the computer and pop in 
0, 255, comma, 0 and the serial communications window, which should turn the red down to 0, green to 255, and the blue to 0, and we should see a green LED. All right, as you can see now, the LED is a nice green color. You can mix and match um, all the colors together to make whatever you want. Obviously, uh, 255, 255, 255 would be white. So you can do white and any other color that you can mix together there. Um, all right, that's the end of this tutorial. Uh, I know it's pretty basic, but a lot of people are wondering about these modules and what pins they use. If you look in the code, you will see which pins um, that you need there at the top. I've declared that out for you. And happy coding.